Hi, welcome guys. Today's topic is Hoonix. What is Hoonix? Hoonix is a gateway with the client which is used for access the dark web. So it is a Tor gateway. Um, you can access the dark web anonymously. Uh, no one can track you. So this is the um, basic idea of the Hoonix. So we are going to look at how to install the Hoonix on your virtual machine and how you can browse the dark web using the Hoonix. So it's very simple. You need to navigate to the Hoonix.org. This is the website. This is a free and open source project. So uh, if you want to learn more about Hoonix, you can simply click this link. What is Hoonix? It's super internet internet privacy security hardening always it's available for windows mac os like pretty much everything in here and this is the um Hoonix architecture if we look at this one so as you can see uh this is your laptop or your desktop or whatever your computer and we are going to install the Hoonix workstation as well as the Hoonix gateway and Hoonix gateway is the interface to the internet which you can connect to the internet through the Tor gateways um, anonymous connection like you can see and this is the, your clear net trackable internet from your computer and Hoonix workstation is the one which we are going to browse the dark web through the Tor browser and Hoonix gateway is fully responsible for make the anonymity and route through the dark net and encryption and decryption process so that's the basic idea so we'll look at how we can use this in our laptop first you need to download the Hoonix um, in my example I'm going to use Oracle VirtualBox which is free um, virtualization software today and I'm going to download the VirtualBox app appliance, uh, which is the OVA file for this example. Um, you can simply go this one and there are two versions available for the Hoonix, which is um, GUI, graphical user version and CLI, uh, command line interface version. Obviously, we prefer GUI version and you can go ahead and hit the download button and it is around like 2 GB. I already downloaded this one as you can see in here. I'm not going to download it right now. Um, if you are not with the um, Oracle VirtualBox, you can simply go from this link and download the Oracle VirtualBox from here. And these are the other steps. So, um, as you can see, I have already downloaded this one, but it's only one file, just only one OVA, but will extract the Hoonix gateway as well as the um, Hoonix workstation when we are importing this thing um, into the Oracle virtual box. Without further ado, we'll set up this one. First, you need to navigate to the um, your Oracle virtual box. And this is simple. Go to the file and import the appliance from the, your local file system. Select browse and select your <coughs> Hoonix OVA file, which in my case this one, and click open. Okay, this is the um, file location. Click next. You can adjust the RAM, hard drive, processors, anything you want. So as you can see, this is virtual system one, and these are the configuration for that one. Um, and this is the system two, which means the workstation, Hoonix workstation. Uh, these are the configurations for the workstation. I'm not going to change anything, just leave it as default. So, and click finish. And there's a little agreement, blah, blah, things. Click agree. Uh, this is for the second one, which means the workstation. Click agree and finish. So it will import the appliance very quickly. Once it's imported, you can see the workstation here and the um, gateway here to separate things. Um, just wait for it's importing. Once it has been done, we can navigate and play with that a little bit. 
So yeah, in the meantime, you can browse the documentation about things. So blah blah things. So just to get the idea, this is the way it's working. So that's how the things. Oh, as you can see, the um, Honix gateway now already imported. Now it's importing the Honix um, client. So in this case, you need to power on the gateway and continuously running the gateway because all our workstation traffic going through the Honix gateway. So that's the idea. Um, we'll open the gateway first. Now it's it has been installed. Before you want to power this on, you can adjust the um, RAM, hard drive, CPU, or USB, anything you want. So and then click OK. Then you can start the Unix gateway. So we'll wait for that. It's powering up the VM. Yep. This is the Unix gateway. It just Linux, hard Linux always specifically for um, browse the um, two websites, onion websites, dark web maybe. Starting. Um, this is the Tor Gateway, oh, sorry, Hoonix Gateway, so there's a little um, licensing thing, if you want you can read this, um, click understand and click next, again this limited warranty, disclaim and stuff, um, select understand and click next, and click finish, uh, then it will ask to connect to the um, Tor network like a proxy that like a proxy I'm going to connect it directly and click next so yep it is connecting right now we'll get a little bit smaller for this one and in the meantime we can um, open the workstation for the <coughs> Honix uh, if you want to see the process uh, it's still completing Uh, this VM is still powering on. Yeah. Okay. Um, as you can see, the gateway is connected with the Tor network. Click finish. Once it's going, we can wait um, to open the uh, workstation. I will take okay the workstation also open pop it on and the same like gateway you have to agree with this thing another one same like the gateway click next and hit finish so now the idea is our workstation all the workstation traffic going through the Hunix gateway and Hunix gateways connected to the um, Tor network and traffic route through that network. That's the idea. So this is the workstation. Workstation also preparing. You can directly go to the browser and open the browser. So as you can see, this is the Tor browser. Uh, there are some, uh, yeah, this is the system check warning. You can read this one, go through these articles, just go and click OK. Uh, these are like uh, famous dark web search engines, DuckDuckGo, Ahima, and Brave if you want to use. You can check your IP, some forums, if you want to donate, donations there. Uh, here, I will click OK. We'll check the IP address in this case. Oh, this is the uh, my IP address, which is connected to the Tor, Tor network. Maybe we can browse Ahima, uh, which is one of the uh, famous Onion website. You can see the Onion link. 
it is redirected to that onion link. So tow is uh, technically a little bit slow because it's routing through different throw gateways and um, it will take little time to load up. So here's the um, Ahima dark web browser. Maybe you can search exploit.in. I'm not sure. I'm just browsing. Um, yeah, see, you can browse the darknet anonymously through that gateway. So this is the basic idea. If you want to browse the darknet, see what's going on in the dark web, so what are, what's the things happening in that dark world, so you can simply browse through the um, Honix workstation. Even we can um, integrate our Kali Linux VM, uh, this VM traffic going through the Honix gateway. So I will do another video for that one. Uh, that's it guys. If you have any questions, anything, you can leave a comment on the comment section below. So I'm happy to answer. So just go ahead, try this thing. We'll catch up with next video. Thank you guys. Thank you.